Hey, welcome to SMSU, and this is Art 100 uh, Introduction to Art. So uh, here is, um, I am John uh, K. Sterner. Um, I am an art education professor at Southwest Minnesota State University. I am also an art professor. I am also a university um, experience professor and have had multiple hats that I have worn here at Southwest. I was a assistant wrestling coach and a head wrestling coach and an assistant football coach. So I've done a lot of things at SMSU and I was a student and a graduate. So um, we are gonna be journeying into Art 100 and journeying into intro to art. But um, they finalized my schedule on Thursday and the two times I got to the bookstore, it was closed. So I have yet to get my book. So we're gonna start out this week as the pre-week to when I get you the syllabus and all that information. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to do an art find. What that means is, is we are not gonna, um, your assignment is, is you're gonna go search on campus. Um, if you would like, it can be anywhere in Marshall as well. But what I want you to do is I want you to go on an art find. So your week one assignment is going to be, and there's going to be an additional part to this. I'm going to have you go and find three paintings, two sculptures, one drawing. Now, what does that mean? That means they are, um, a sculpture is a three-dimensional object. A painting is a two-dimensional object. A drawing is usually done with uh, pencil or pen. And there are some in the William... Uh, Whipple Gallery, and there are some in other places. You may have to look. Um, but the idea is, is that you try to find three paintings, two sculptures, and one drawing. Now, what I want you to do when you find that is I have a specific set of things that I want you to do. One, I want you to be able to describe for me what is in that art find. So for example, I would like you to subjectively dis define what you see before you. What is it that is happening? What's occurring in this painting or this sculpture, okay? Subjectively means that it is without facts. It's just you kind of telling me what you feel. I really like it, it's, it's red, it's got bumples all over it, you know, that type of thing. Then I want you to find its name or guess at it what its name is. Tell me what you think it was made with. Was it painted in oil paint? Was it a watercolor? That type of thing. And then guesstimate its dimensions as close as you can without using a tape measure. Now, the last thing I want you to do is to try to define it objectively, to look at it and say, well, this is what I like about it. This is what's really cool about it. Um, I like it for these reasons. One, it is got red. Two, the way that the red moves through the painting, that type of thing, okay? And then lastly, I just want you to reflect on, do you think it's good art or bad art? Um, and kind of give, you know, your feedback on that. Now, I will have a D2L page that will have all of that um, listed out for you. And all you have to do is respond. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of each of those, it's a total of five. I want you to take a picture of those five art images that you're looking at. Three paintings, two sculptures, one drawing. Now, when we're done with that, you're gonna put that into a Word document. You can put the pictures and you can type next to it, that type of thing, and tell me what you think about it. And it should be a couple paragraphs. Um, each one each one will probably get a, you know, uh, you probably are thinking five, six, seven sentences, you know, that describe the painting. You got to think about describing the painting and, and what you feel about it and what it makes you feel. So that's important. All right. So we're doing an art find. Um, we are going to do some things that are very interactive in this class. So not only are we going to look at the book and do what the book says in that regards, but we're going to do some art projects. So uh, you're going to need a drawing pad um, and you're going to need some drawing tools, pens, uh, markers, uh, Sharpies, that type of thing, or pencils. That would be great. All right. That's our assignment for this week to do an art find and then uh, get your supplies ready. And we will have another video next week.